everyone, I'm Emily Powers and in this video I'm going to paint a pink rose and hopefully I can make it to where it'll be a little simpler for beginners and I will do it step by step so that you can paint along if you want. And the supplies I'm using are in the description so you can, if you want the specific colors and brushes I use you can um, see those and there's also some links in the description where you can buy some of those supplies and a percentage of your purchase supports my channel. So I uh, already painted this um, with, let's see, I think it's called, uh, where is it? Oh, okay. Brilliant Yellow Green. And so I just realized that I was going to actually use it and turns out I didn't so you could paint it with this green that we're going to use instead and that way what you're going to be working with later would work with what you just put down so sorry about that but you don't have to go and buy it or anything the um this color that I painted the background with is um you can mix something similar with cadmium yellow medium, titanium white, and phthalo green, but uh, you don't, like I said, you don't have to get it. You could paint it with this color, which you can mix with those same colors and just make it a darker version, not as much yellow. And then I also don't use aqua green very much. You can mix it with those same three colors, phthalo green, titanium white, and some cadmium yellow medium but you could probably leave the yellow out um, and if you do put it in just put a little bitty tiny bit and this is the artist loft um, color turquoise and you can mix it with phthalo blue phthalo green and titanium white so you can mix them all you don't have to have them but since I already had them I decided to use it so I'm going to get my half inch filbert, it's a number six Princeton Summit, and I'm going to, um, I'm not going to make this background the same as in the picture, in the picture it's kind of a darker green, I'm going to like just have fun and just experiment with these different green and blue colors. Why are my palette's shaky today? I'm going to add some white to this light green. And I'll get some of this. Uh, it called aqua green I'm probably gonna have a little bit of a hard time remembering what they're called because I don't use them very often and I like this aqua green color but there's not very many times that I get to use it and I'll get some of this turquoise And I'm just kind of taking my brush and going back and forth, just having fun playing with these colors, seeing how they mix together. And it's alright if some of the background shows. If you didn't have any color put down yet, then you might want to do a second coat because you might you probably see through these colors and 
and you would be able to see your canvas through it, but since I already put down some color, And now I'm taking some white and adding it to my colors and it's, I'm just kind of putting it in different areas, adding some lighter color. And most of this behind the rows, you're not going to see. So you don't really have to worry too much about that behind there. It's going to be on the sides that you're really going to see it. So I'm just going back and forth between these three colors and then I also add a little bit of white after I cover with all my green. And I'm not really worried about getting these colors. Um, if if I'm not really worried if they mix on my palette together because we're using them all up right now. So So if you enjoy this video, then please give it a like and subscribe. I post a new video every Friday, so if you hit Emily Powers Art right below the video, then it will take you to my channel and you can see some of my other painting tutorials. I've got all that yellow covered up now. Alright, so now I'll just go back and add some of the blue 
where I don't have a whole lot, or some of the more white color. And I'm like certain areas um, underneath are more blended together. So it like slowly goes from one color to the other. But I'm going to take like some of my blue turquoise and add some of that. And I'm not going to blend it. I'm just going to let it be like little dots of blue. And then... I'll also do that with this lighter green. Just let it have some dots here and there of the different colors. And if you don't like this, you can do it more of like a dark green in the picture. But whatever you want to do. I just thought it'd be kind of fun to do something different with the background this time. And I'll get some of this like lighter blue the aqua green and add some of that. And since I ran out We'll get a little bit more of this light green. It's more of a yellowy green. And I'll add some of this back in. And I'm twisting my brush back and forth so you wouldn't want to just dab in one area because that would probably get you like a repeated pattern it would give you the same dot over and over again so by flipping your brush back and forth then you get different shapes instead of the same one over and over all right so I'm not really worried about this middle part because it's going to be mainly covered up anyway. So I think that's pretty good. So I think I'm going to rinse my brush out and leave it like that. So I rinsed that brush out and now I want my background to dry so that I can draw my rose on top of it. Alright, so it's still not totally dry but I'm going to mix up some of the color for my rose while I wait. So I'm going to get my red and my pink. And I'm going to mix them together because it's not really, it's not really that red and it's not really that pink. So So I'm going 
going to need, need it to be more of a pink. I'm going to split this up just in case it's way too much red in there. Alright, so now I'm going to add a little bit of white to it, make it not so dark. And it's still not as pink as I want, so and we might add some of these colors in if I want. It does I'm not gonna worry about it being just like picture in the coloring. some more pink to this brighter red. Alright, so uh, it, actually if you had like, I've never used them before, but just from the picture if you had like a uh, can't remember if it's like neon, but like one of those brighter pinks that like is really bright, that would probably work pretty good too. Never really tried them, but it looks like very bright. So, all right, so I'm going to get my chalk. And there's still some areas that are wet, but I'll just try to go around them and not go in that part yet. So, um, first I'm going to see where my middle of the canvas is. I like doing that so that you know, you know, from wherever you're trying to draw at, you know where the middle is compared to that area. Um, so I'm going, it's kind of sort of like in this, uh, oval here. So I'm going to do just a little bit above the edge of my canvas there. I'm going to do a line and down about here. So I want that side to stop. So I'm marking out how far I want it to go from my, the edge, and all right, so right about in here, I'm going to do this circle, it may not be a perfect circle, but a circle, circular shape. And that's going to be like where all of our petals are coming from. And make it a little bit bigger. This is a big flower compared to the canvas. And you could shrink the flower a little bit so that it's not so close to the sides. That would be okay. And so from this circle, I'm going to do a line slanted over here and then have it curve back and there's going to be one petal right there and then I'm going to have another petal that's like coming off from here and it comes back down and around like that and then 
I'm going to have another petal coming from up in there. And it's going to come around and I'm going to erase this now. There's like a little area here where it's doing a, has like a wave in the petal. Do you want it there? And then I'm going to come from this one we just drew and come up and out. Let's see. And then back around. So you can pause the video and um, rewind and go back so that you can see the drawing I'm doing. So I'm going to have one petal like that. And there's going to be a petal that's kind of small that comes out. And then there's going to be some back here. So it's going to come around and up. the petal that's back behind it. And then I'm going to come up and let's see. in like that and there's going to be like a gap in here and it's going to come here and we're going to make this one come out a little bit. And now I'll do some of these petals in here. So there's going to be like a curve and then it's going to get cut off get in there and then um, the edge of this circle here is going to come up and around and then we're going to have like a petal over here and one right there and one of them is going to be in, in here. And then one of them ends right there. And it's kind of all clustered together. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine. But they're all just kind of they start getting to where it's like a bunch of petals all, all together. So you can, uh, if you want, you can go to the end of the video so you can see how I do the middle. And that might help. And then 
I'm going to to have I'm going to have this stem out here and And there's going to be some like leaves that are coming out. Over there. So. I'm trying to see if there's any like adjustments that I want to make. Because I would need to make them now. So. I think it's, it's pretty good. Bring that out some. Alright, so now I'm going to take, um, this is a number six bright and it's Princeton Umbria. It's a half inch. And I'm going to just fill in um, some of these petals. So I'm going to get some of this, I'm going to get some of this like brighter reddish color. And And I'm not going to worry too much about making the petals um, distinguishing. I'm going to try to distinguish it slightly, but I'm not going to worry too much about that at the moment. And I'm going to take some of this red and add some of this blue to it, make it like a dark purple, and make that go in the darker areas. Okay, and I'll get some of the darker and put it in there. And I'll get some of the red.
right, and I'll get some of the pink. So I'm just filling in these petals now. All right, and I think I might um, make it a little easier. I might just go ahead and fill this in with um, just with a red, and that way. It won't be so hard. Be a little bit easier. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this in. So as you get the outside um, petals and then we'll work on the details later. So you can just do a little bit of color changes to help you know where the petals should go. And I'm going to get my green and some red and I didn't rinse my brush out but it's going to make a, a duller green and I'm going to do some leaves. Okay, and then I'm going to get some of this like purple color for the stem. Alright, so I rinse that out. So there's the first layer, and so far it's not too hard. Um, just, uh, you can just draw out the circle and the outer petals, and then, um, if the outside looks good, then you can fill in the whole thing. Really, you probably don't even have to, I tried defining different petals, but you could probably fill in the whole thing. But it does help when you can think about where your petals are going to be and which ones are which. So I'm going to let that dry now and then we can move on once it's dry. Okay, so not all the petals are dry, but I'm going to take my rag and wipe chalk off. Just make sure that 
the edge of the petal where you're going to be wiping off is dry. And now we can see the edge. I've got some out of the rose there. All right, so I took the chalk off and there's a spot right here that I wanna bring in some. All right, so, oops. So I'm going to start on this petal, I think, and I can still take some chalk off later, but because there's still a little bit, but I'm going to get my magenta and some white. And some of the red. And I don't want it that bright. I'm gonna get some of this red. That's I wanna I think I wanna use this color and kind of like a pinkish red and we're going to go in and put some of that and then I'll get some of a darker color And flick it in and I'll get some of this red and blue for the base where it comes out of the rose so that it'll be darker there and I'll get some of this pink and Might get a little bit of red and add some white to the red. All right. So added a little bit there, and now I'll get some pink and do this petal and I'll get some of that red and go back behind here And I can take a little bit of pink and a little bit of white and go along the edge. I'll get some of that darker color and put it back. And still got some of that lighter color, so I've got to take that off. Alright, and I'm going to go back to this panel.
So I want to make it dark where it's closer to where all the petals are coming from, which is in here, so it's going to be darker on the edge. But then I want it to get lighter as it comes out. Okay. Okay, and I'll get some of the red and start in here. And it's kind of just like automatically giving me some lighter colors because I had some lighter colors on my brush. So it's kind of perfect. It's like the harder I pressed down on my brush, the more those lighter colors came off and I didn't even have to reload my brush until I got almost down to the tip. So. And you can use whatever colors or brushes you want. It doesn't have to be the same ones I'm using. All right. And there's a little bit of, there's like another petal right here. So I'm gonna add some white to it and And put another petal right there. So, so far it's pretty easy, I think. So, I'm going to add some darker pink down in here. Make it lighter as it comes up. And I'm kind of changing it a little bit from what the picture looks like because the colors I'm using, they're not really getting the same color pink, so it, that part's a little different, and then it's, I'm also not worrying too much about putting the, the uh, lights and the darks in the exact same spot. I want to try to keep this flower more simple so that those that are more um, beginners can still do it because most of the flowers that I do that are similar to this that are like one flower they tend to be harder and I do a lot of detail in some of them so I wanted to make one of them simpler, so hopefully I'm doing an okay job at making it an easy painting.
on the right and I'll go ahead and do this one If I want to, I can add some white and do some white at the tip of some of these. So I can go back and add a little bit of a lighter color and if I get too much I can wipe the white off my brush and then just kind of lift some of the white off. Okay, so I'm going to get some of my darker color and do it under here. I'll do one. Kind of in there. I'll try to get this whole section to be have another coat on it first. And I'll get some more magenta. Okay, so I'm going to add some white and some pink over here. Make it another petal coming in. And there's another petal that's off to the side over here.
is actually another petal that's right under that one. Okay, I'm going to do one right there. And some in here. All right. So now I'm going to get this pink and white and I'm going to have to do some highlights. So do one there, do a highlight there. Okay, and so I'm, I'm just taking my lighter color and putting it on the tip of these petals and also on on the other side that's supposed to be darker. I'm adding some darker color if it needs that. All right, so I'm going to get some of my two dark colors and a little bit of that blue to make that dark. I'm going to rinse my brush out first. going to like go in between some of these petals and put some of that in. I can put some of it on top of some of these other petals that I already did. go in between those two. So I think it's actually almost done. I'm going to add some more right there. And now I want to get some of my white and add it 
in a few areas and make make it really bright. Oops. on this one and I think I like totally skipped a petal there's one it's like in here Okay. like covering up some of my paint over there all right so now that I've got a lot more detail in I'm gonna rinse that out and do a little bit more detail on my leaves so I'm gonna get a little bit of that red with my green again get some of that like purple color that I mixed with the red and the um, blue. I can add a little bit of white to one side. And I'll add some white to some of the leaves. All right. So I think that's actually pretty good. I might do just a little bit more white and Okay. All right, so 
I think that's pretty good, actually. So, I'm going to rinse my brush out. And take off the chalk one more time. Just be careful. go. Alright, so I think that's pretty good. So I think I, um, it may not be like if you've never painted, you probably wouldn't want to do this right away, but I don't think it was like that hard. So the background's super easy, and then as long as you can get the drawing right, and then just fill in the whole drawing with like red or pink and then do some darker and lighter areas that's pretty much it so i'm going to sign it down here there we go so there's the easy rose. Easier rose, anyway. And I'll show the schedule. So next we're going to be doing this fun cow. So I uh, already did these other three. So if you want to see those being painted, you can go to Emily Powers Art click on Emily Powers Art right below the video and it should take you there um, where you can see those and hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye!